Good morning, Mr. Nathan. Pleased to have you once again. Nice to meet you. So, um, my my only focus of interaction with you, seeking your views on what is your view of workplace culture in times to come, since we have actors turned politicians and uh, you know chairmen from conglomerates speaking on it that you know we need to increase. uh you know the productive work hour limit of employees in karnataka government is also under pressure that it should be a 14 hour uh work day in times to come so do you feel that the concept of uh, work life balance is just for leaders to merely boast about their companies but then in action they feel that there needs to be more productive hours than already you know which has been set by government that 8 to 9 hours work is the basic that we expect but since the natka government is under pressure that you know we should now have 14 hour work day what is your view on it i think the workplace that we are going to be looking at just not today but also in the future mm-hmm. is my personal view of what i call as work life integration okay so um and i'm looking at um I was looking at my grandfather even as you were speaking I was looking about looking at his life I mean he woke up in the morning he had a set of things to do he was into music so as a musician he would spend a lot of time there there's no concept of a saturday there's no concept of a sunday um he used to sing whenever he wanted okay and um, it was for him a way of life then I looked at my father my father was very much um very much like a grandfather okay because for him again work was not like you end at certain time and you start at certain time mm mm-hmm. and he had a very nice way of integrating this uh he had time for us he had time for the family he had time for his friends he had time for himself so personally for me as i see myself over the last 40 years uh i realized a lot of good things have happened to me because um in a way i was able to use my weekend for a few things okay i'm able to use my weekdays for a few things okay and it is all about continuous learning and continuous growing okay um should we extend the number of work hours i don't think you should mandate it okay so it if, should if be I as and when required exactly if i enjoy my work I'm so much in the flow of work that I will continue to keep working. And the day when I feel that this work is enough mm-hmm. and I would stop. So if we can get into a culture where I respect each person's boundaries or how they would like to live their lives and with a common ground of these are your normal work hours. I think that would be a great way to start. Okay. Because if you start to put boundaries you start here and end here. See starting and ending By the way, if you really look at the way that we've been working all our lives, is you start with the sun and you end with the sun. Exactly. So today, uh, we have put paid to that, and with its own sets of woes, you know, people do not know where the boundaries uh, are. It almost seems boundaryless. People overwork. There are stresses. People overwork. Do you feel it is because they have to prove their acumen every day? Um, or do they have to justify their salaries every day is it is it a pressure under which employees are overworking because uh, i really do not see no i mean i'm not speaking like my, my per se but then in general when i see surveys also speak there is a lot of emphasis within organization to showcase your acumen each day and the factor of employer trusting employee since there is work from home now so the trust factor tends to diminish on, on it, the contrary i think trust increases okay when you place trust and people people don't normally belie trust okay if you're trusting of me then i would do everything to make sure that i live up to the trust that you have reposed in me so working from home is not like somebody is going to be shamming i mean there are boundaries exactly. and i think a little bit of latitude no harm with that okay. um but today the pressure to perform has reached a certain height where it start to 
tell upon the mental wellness of people. People feel completely stressed out. Um, if you look at the Gallup survey today, it says almost 79% of Indians are sad. 23% is the engagement of people in organizations, which means you have a large, I mean, almost like, like what, 77% of people in organizations are disengaged. But then they're working because they have ends to meet. They have ends to meet. So, if you ask me what is a culture that I'd like to see, mm -hmm. um, an emancipated culture where there's a bit of freedom that I get okay. to work when I feel like. Okay. And um, pretty much like the seasons. Okay. When you have the summer, then there's a time for me to get my crops cut. There is a time when I have to seed. There are after time when I have to water. Uh, there are times when I have to nourish the crop. There, there are ways of doing it. And I still have my life. Okay. Fair enough. I feel whatever you're envisioning is something that we see in times to come and future. And leaders also realize that yes, the weekend culture is not the Indian culture. But even if we've adapted something good, which is not giving any harm to our bodies and the physical state of mind is insane, then there is no harm in adapting something which is not Indian and foreign. We are adapting a lot many things which are foreign. Why not a work-life balance that they enjoy? Because it's not that they don't work. Work-life integration. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, let me spend a little bit on the um, weekend culture that you call it. So, the weekend culture, we start to look to the weekend because there's so much of pressure during the week. I am looking for an escape mechanism. My escape is the weekend. It's almost like every Friday, I start to put so much of pressure on myself that I say, okay, now by the afternoon, I'm already looking at my watch and I say, when is it going to be evening? So I'll be a free bird. Life is not about freedom that you experience because the boundary of a Friday is now giving way to the expanse of a weekend. But if it were truly emancipated, where there is a sense of freedom right through the week, mm -hmm. I start to enjoy my job. Which brings me to the last point, which is, how can we make work interesting? Where people learn, where people grow. They feel that they have used all their faculties. Mm. And they would continue to do so because they enjoy what they are doing. If we can get to a stage where we can get work to be interesting, forget we weekends. People will work even on holidays because they enjoy the work that they do. Exactly. Something that they enjoy, they would like to do on their office as well. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. It's been a pleasure.